liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight, Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. Every launch is like a snowflake, an individual, <laughs> in its own little beauty. So, uh, so delicate. Speaking yes. of individuals with their own beauty, David Waters is down at the Tweet Tent, the Twent it is, and... Uh, down in the Twenches. Where, in the Twenches, <laughs> where they're really, really... They are, they've been uh, pretty fired up, and it was really fun listening to them just erupt in a cheer. Yes, they as, did. As uh, Atlantis, uh, as they lit the candles. David, uh, give us a sense of what's going on down there. Well, Miles, really quick, take a look at this crowd. Now, while you're looking, I'm going to bring in NASA's John Yembrick over here. Uh, John Yembrick is on the mic. He's going to just ask these folks about what they thought. So we're going to hear this for the whole world here. We've got about, oh, 180 countries watching us. John? We just have one question for you guys. Did you like it? Yeah. All right, we're going to walk over to you and find out what you liked about it. So, all right, Miles, let's see. That was a good, quick crowd interview. We just got the whole crowd at once. All right, now, what did you think? The noise is awesome. <laughs> All right, I want really short reactions. 140 characters or less. What did you think? Unbelievable experience. Well, that's going to fit into a tweet. A thunderous experience. Thunderous experience. I'm going to go back over this way a little bit. All right, what's your Twitter? What's your tweet right after launch that you sent? Unbelievably amazing. I like all these words. I just said amazing watching the shuttle launch. Now, what, what stood out about it to you most? Oh, my God, the light. I mean, that, I mean it's just one huge controlled explosion. I think, I think when you see it for the first time, I remember witnessing it here, you see this burn in your eyes. It's like somebody takes a flash picture of you, Miles, and it just stays with you. So they get that same view. What did you think? The sound was amazing. You didn't expect it to be that loud there. Now, where do you normally live? Orlando. Okay, so you do see the launches. Oh, yes, I do. Out, in, I can run out to my backyard and watch the launch. And what people might not realize is you still can sometimes hear the shuttle from Orlando. You can even see it from Tampa, South Florida. Yes, but it will never amount to what we just saw. All right, so who did you message right after launch? Did you send it out as a tweet? Did you just... And I just said the one collective word from here, wow. That's great. Okay, that's a great summary. I'm going to go through a few more folks here. We've got you live on Space Light now. What's your summary? What's your tweet for today after the launch? Awesome. Just absolutely awesome. It I've heard that. Did you copy him down there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear him. He must have copied me. No, it, it was fantastic. How about you? What do you write? What's your name? My name is Neil Weiser. I'm from Philadelphia. It was amazing. Actually, I would like to share with you something that a teacher was tweeting. She was sharing the launch with her third grade class. Wow. And she said that the third graders were in awe. And it's just a testament to the power of tools like Twitter and social media to share this with people all over the world. Do you remember where this teacher is? Did she say? Uh, if you give me one second, I'll see if I can find out. What's her name? Uh, handle? Gen her Twitter handle is Genevieve79CR. Okay, everybody goes by these Twitter handles, but yeah, teacher watching third grade. Let me just ask, what do you think about that power to connect all these people that you were all a part of today? Well, that, I think this kind of says it all. I think that's, that's a good answer. Yes, it kind of does there. So, Miles, I think fairly, fairly uh, out of reaction. Uh, John, we're going to do this interview at the same time. John, what did you think of all these people tweeting out at the same time? I think that this is an awesome opportunity for all these folks here today to tell our message to all their followers or follow their followers. And I think it's great that we're able to communicate what NASA is doing in a whole new way to a whole bunch of people who weren't exposed to it like you guys were here today. Now, we've got people in Antarctica, at Vatican City, all over the world watching who can connect with these people. What was NASA hoping to do with that? We're hoping, well, there's only 100 people here, but they're reaching each one of their followers. So you have some people that have 10 followers, 15 followers, some that have hundreds or thousands. And so when they're saying their experience, how much they loved it, and the funny things that are happening here, and the presentations where they're learning what NASA's all about behind the scenes, that's going out to all their people. 
and it's basically very viral or organic and it's reaching a much larger audience than we can just with the folks in here or just sometimes with the things you see in television because we're reaching places like Australia, reaching New Zealand, reaching Spain. Uh, so even the news stations here can't cover that wide of a group and audience. And if there's one message you want to get out to the public, especially here in this country at this critical time, to get more supporters for the space program, how important is that? I, I think what's important is that what we do and the message we're trying to communicate is that human space flight is something very exciting we've been doing for a long time. A lot of people love NASA, but they're not really paying attention to the day-to-day -day stuff. So what you guys are doing and helping us do is communicate the wider picture. There's launches happen all the time. Sometimes we launch spacecraft for science vehicles. Sometimes we launch humans in space. We just want people to be paying attention. This is an exciting time for NASA. Thank you very much, John. You got to all clap for him. Thank you. All right, so I think that kind of sums up what these folks are thinking about this here at the Tweet Up as we watch these replays. But so many people watching around the world as NASA gets its message out through this Tweet Up. Just look at the crowds out here uh, that have responded to this. And as he said, there are so many people following each of them. The landing is not Miles. The point is exciting. David Waters in the Tweet Tent. What a, uh, what a crowd. If I could only bottle that and export it, um, we'd uh, never have to worry about NASA's budget ever again. So thanks, thanks, um, that thanks energy and enthusiasm that can't be recreated.